What's going on, y'all? It's J Small Reviews here, back at it again with another video, man. Bringing you guys uh, a little mini series we're going to be doing. We're just going to see how it goes. And as you can see by the title, this video in particular is going over the top five current day performers in battle rap, right? So I just had this idea thinking about um, somebody had mentioned Fonz to me. We were having a conversation, Fonz and Trez just went down, right? Fantastic battle. Did my review if you want to go check that out a couple of videos ago. Um, but they were talking about Fonz is no doubt like a top three puncher right now. And it made just a bold take about right now where, where Fonz is in punching. And, you know, it's, it's a conversation that if this goes well, you know, I plan on doing every category here. But it made me think, who are the, the current, you know what I'm saying, best guys in each category, current top five compared to, you know, we always talk who are the all-time best performers, who are the all-time best punchers. But I don't think we – rarely do you see people just go – to the current moment and be like, this is actually the best at this category that we say a bunch right now. So going to start out with the performers. Um, I'll see what the feedback feedback is like, and I'd love to hear what you guys got to say uh, in terms of what should come next. Anglers, pens, uh, punchers, maybe even freestylers. I'm willing to, you know, kind of kind of go out there and try a few different things, but do a little recap of who are the best of the best at each of these specific ways of battle rapping right now, man. But uh, without further ado, I want to start with a couple couple honorable mentions and then we'll get right into the list. So like I said, starting with honorable mentions and there's only two of them so it should go by pretty quick. First one I want to mention is Ill Will. Now Ill Will is a guy that if we just look at what I know a lot of people do. What's his like best performance moments, right? We've seen him be explosive on stage and they're going to say, oh, well, how is he not higher? Just off a of namesake. But I base most of this list off of a bit of not you have to be overly active, but activity. Are you, are you really holding that claim of current day? I'm the king of this category. And I'm really just looking at the last two to three years mostly the last two years, you know what I'm saying, unless you've done something ridiculous in the last three years that has to be mentioned. Um, but when it comes to Ill Will, you look at 2022, pretty, like, just middling year for him for the most part, right? I thought the head ice battle was, like, a, a pretty good look for him. I know it went down, and then it was put back up. Obviously, the Rosenberg battle wasn't as good, but being an RBE battler... RB just did not have big stages in 2022, and then obviously, they didn't have them in 2023. They, they had the Blue Room. Now, there's still... Uh, moments where, where obviously Will can use his performance and he's still in the honorable mentions right technically he would have to be like a top seven guy by the way I have this set up so I still look at him as one of the best of the best but when others are going on big stages and kind of using a little bit more he's been in the small room I think bar for bar some of his more sound work I think he's just tried a few different things even like wrapping uh pockets wise although he's always been an all-around talent he's always had this in his bag but I don't think he's had to be as performative without the big stage right and for that when there's others probably just as good, it comes down to preference, that are more active up there, doing more things where performance is maxed out and matters its most. That's why Ill Will sits here, honorable mentions. And then my next honorable mention, which is going to shock a lot of people, right? But none other than, in my opinion, the best performer of all time, Hitman Hala. I think that right now, uh, and it's crazy for me to say that, right? I think Hitman is the best performer of all time. Everything that he's done for that crown, uh, creating the lane, the battles he's even had for it. But as of this moment, a trend that's been going on with Hitman for quite a minute is Hitman has been better in small rooms than on big stages. Now, he hasn't been bad on big stages by any means. Well, the Cassidy battle, that wasn't good, right? So that battle, he was he was pretty rough. Won that battle. Don't act stupid in the comments. I don't want to do none of that debate with y'all. He won, but it's bad. The Calico battle, the rematch, I didn't like it as much. But he performed pretty good in that. You know what I'm saying? The easy battle that was on stage. Obviously, he lost that battle, but he performed pretty good. So we still have an explosive moments up there. But his best work in the last, not just two to three, but damn near five years is coming from a small room. Bill Collector battle. It's got a crowd, but it's not a big stage by any means. Much closer to a small room. He's great in that battle. He's great versus Ill Will. Battle of the year. I mean, we're talking two classics right there. So what I think that you're seeing here is that it's hard for people to admit because we get stuck in our ways when we categorize a battler. Hitman, best performer of all time. Still one of the best. He's on the honorable mentions here. But at this moment, he's been better in a small room than on a big stage. And I think a main point of that is he's been angling. He's always been an underrated angler, but he's been angling great. He's really found a way to make the money talk stick. 
And then obviously there's still the performative aspects in there, but what he's doing content wise is getting overlooked a little bit. And that's kind of what's been carrying him his last few battles as opposed to the regular performance uh, kind of things that always get thrown on Hitman's name. But those are my two quick honorable mentions, man. And now we can get into my opinion, who are the five best performers in 2024? Starting off the list, at number five, and I have to say three to five, throwing Hitman 2 was all an extremely close race. These four names we're going to talk about, but who I chose to lead off the list is Miss Hustle. Uh, now, when it comes to Miss Hustle, obviously what her performance speaks for itself, but I'm actually going to start a little bit differently here and talk about something I'm critical of Miss Hustle for, and that is her material sometimes. And I, I say it every time I cover Miss Hustle Battle, even the ones that have her winning, which very recently is most of them, I do think sh she can have some outdated bars. I think definitely there's some OBC, some bars I've heard before, not bitten or anything, but just bars I've simply heard before, simpler bars. And I, I don't even like the occasional angle that she chooses, right? But how could I feel that way and still agree and vote her just outside of the top 10 when it comes to the champion of the year? Or even see that she's building a fantastic and debatable number one Wody case, woman of the year coming up end of March. I'm gonna put that, the, the link in that description down below. Um, runner up last year, how does she keep doing it? And that is because of her performance, man. And I think if you just look at her big stage work over the last two years, Speaks for itself. You go back to 2022, her big fights, Couture and Vixen. To me, both debatable battles. Um, I had her, that she was great in. She's great in both. I had her one and one. I had her beating Couture, but I had her losing to Vixen. I think a lot of people got her losing to Couture. So you got a 2 and 0, 0 and 2, but I thought she was really good in both battles. And then you look at this past year, the greatness from her year mostly comes from big stage performances. Shuni, 30, Arsenal. He choked every round. I know some of you tried to say Arsenal won. I don't know why. Use your eyes and ears. <laughs> she 30s Arsenal has an amazing first round doing it. I even had her beating Tay Rock in the Kings versus Queens headline. I know that was debatable to some people too, but I thought she was really good in that. And most of that is because of her performative bars. Hell, go to Gnome Impact when she carried her team with Danny Myers. Um, Carried them to an L. They lost anyways, but she's the one that made it not as ugly, right? We know that she had a good performance in that two-on-two. -two. So all that being said, she's great on these big stages. She's been being great, and I'd assume that she'd only get maybe some bigger opponents too on the big stage. I mean, already getting the Tay Rocks, Arsenals, right? So continues getting big stage opponents. Uh, it's kind of funny because I've hit in the honorable mentions in a battle, just a battle. I would have Hitman beating Miss Hustle right now, probably regardless of the setting, but... We're not talking about who would win a battle, this and that. We're talking about the performance aspect and somebody that uses it this much to do what she's doing actively. I have to consider that when talking about a top five. And at number four, actually a person that I just talked about who I had Miss Hustle beating in a battle recently, and that is Tay Rock. Now, funny enough, there's a lot of talk about uh, Tay Rock underappreciated, right? Oh, uh, uh, is he appreciated correctly? And I do think for the most part... Uh, with the way that he's talked about, he is appreciated correctly. Many of us, including myself, think that he is the best, right? The best ever. Um, but performance-wise, whenever I talk to people about who are the best performers, all-time conversation, which is not what we're talking about here, right? But, you know, you'll hear names like Hitman, K-Shine, or the first two names probably. Then goes maybe Twerk. Uh, Briz gets thrown in that convo a lot. Even gets Surf in there, rightfully so. And um, not really considered for this list, right? Because he's been inactive. But... You hear those names, but I don't think you always hear Tay Rock in there, and I think he has mastered it. I mean, fully mastered it when it comes to Tay Rock. End of night, and this is the big thing that, that moved me, is going to SM and being there tired as fuck when him and Av went on. Av rapping long rounds as the battle went on too, but Tay Rock woke us up as a crowd, man. It's one of the few times I've been to an event and really the last battle was the one to wake people, uh, kind of wake people up for maybe a little, a little lull before. And I have to give him the most credit. That was mostly on him. And when you just look at how he battles, especially since he got into more of the multi-syllabic bag, the AMG mode, as everyone calls it, bag, I think that there's a lot of performativeness in that. Body movement-wise, if you even go back the last couple years, is battle versus swamp. Granted, I did have him losing that battle. Many people had him winning. Great fucking battle, right? His first round for Swamp, historic. What he did to T-Top on Gnome 12, big stage. Um, last year with Av, that performance. Uh, I mean, it goes on and on with Tay Rock. There's just a level of consistency there that you have to consider. Um, and the fact that he is a safe bet. Maybe he's not the, the one or two, you know, he doesn't have the pops. or He's not known as a strictly performer, right? Um, I, don't, I think it's hard to categorize Tay Rock because he just does a couple different things at too great of a level. But 
delivery wise the way that he gets the crowd to basically do sing-alongs at this point to me these elements of crowd control energy aggression and delivery that is performance so i don't think rock's ever been considered a flat-out performer but to me for the better half of like 10 about a decade now i think tay rock is almost always in a top five current performers list rarely for some people is he considered number one but i think he's always there Granted, could you have Hustle over him with her winning the head-to-head battle recently? Maybe, but I'd still trust Rock on a big stage against any level opponent. I've seen him do it, and he hasn't really lost that much of a step now. Just changed the style up a little bit, and for me, it's still a safe pick at number four. And now we get into, in my opinion, the top three performers right now in battle rap. And at number three, similar to four and five with Rock and Hustle, I think this is very debatable, but... I do have Easy the Block Captain at number three. And I know that Easy's going through it right now, and he is going to have to fight back. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm going to need to see Easy get back to his winning ways that he showed us. But I can't ignore what I've seen these past couple of years, and particularly what I've seen in bigger stage situations. And it, it, even if you go to 2023, what he did against Hitman Hala is an all time statement what he did in New York versus Hitman. The level of performance, the way he he performed with it. Like we can always talk about the angling with him. And listen, I plan on doing top five pens, top five anglers, top five punchers. Like I said, you might see easy again in one of these lists. But I think performance is a big aspect of that. Uh, what he did versus Goods on Gnome 12, what him beating Calico on Summer Madness, going down 1-0 early too, and I, I would debate that Cal probably lost that battle for himself more than Easy won it, but Easy was still good and pulled out a W in a very tough situation. Um, him versus Chess, that's going back a little bit farther, but what he's been doing performance wise that is a performance is a big part of how he went on in my opinion a 15 battle win streak a couple debatables that i had him edging in there but we know his run we know what he's been doing in modern day battle rap now what Geechee did and what it was like a medium-sized crowd moving towards more of a big crowd than a small room right didn't like that and then obviously the john john battle uh he does very good in uh even the cheesecake factory bar super performative right uh, another battle i did have him losing so we'll see in 2024 is a big year do we still is he a lock for these top three and top fives to everything does he take another loss it's all depends on these next couple of battles but even bumping down a couple he might have been the number two or one performer before with the way that he was going but this puts him at three and i think that's very fair uh due to the current state that he's in with the possibility of him dropping or holding his position with how his next couple of battles go and then that gets that leads you to who do i think the best two performers in battle rap are once i say number two i feel like everyone's gonna know number one not gonna lie i feel like you might have known number one before you click this video but the runner-up to me is Shotgun Shug. Another battler that, it, very similar to Miss Hustle, but really more before my channel, I was very critical of Shotgun Shug when I first became a battle rap fan, man. I don't know if I've ever talked about this, but, uh, you know, when I when I first, uh, a teenager, right, I'm really into the bars, the wordplay and everything. I've never really seen it at the level that you see it in battle rap, right? Really anywhere else, um, music-wise, anything, right? So, Shotgun Shug hasn't exactly been a wordsmith for most of his career, right? A lot, a lot of pure aggression, uh, a lot of just talk to him type of shit. But what I've seen in the last few years is not just a rise in his level of writing, which I think is really, really done good by him these past few years as a talent. Um, but I'm seeing the motivation to go back to being one of the best performers in the world. Like that in a 2015 where even though I was new, there's a reason that his, no his name was making noise around that time. It's because of the way the av hit av with the jackhammer you know what i'm saying like it was on gnome six um uh versus big t mr potato had potato on the nose and now you're seeing moments like that like the body bag versus ace Amin, like the performance versus kid slade like the body bag versus chess um what can you say even when he goes to a small room like versus averb i feel like he's still using the performance a lot in that volume although like i said he's gotten a lot better bar for bar so it's just helped him all around as a talent there's just been a a shug's been better at everything the last few years compared to the years before um but particularly when it comes to performance when i see things like chess and ace i mean and the way that he st completely is able to steal the show and murder people on stage gotta consider that man that's why i think he is the second best performer in the world and at number one it's twerk twerk is very easily in my opinion right now the best performer in battle rap um energy wise i mean he's just focused he's bringing three rounds obviously the voice inflections we know what he does delivery wise but the 
uh, the hollow battle, right? Let's say that. I don't even think that's nearly one of his best performances, but the bulldozer, the way that he just overpowers people in the first few rounds of a battle. Murder Mook wins uh, wins performance of the year, you know what I'm saying, on the champion of the year panel for that performance. It's really just two rounds. He's stumbling all over the third. Um, body bags like that versus Coffee Brown. NXT, even though it's a smaller room, you go to the year before that, battles like real sick, pretty big room. Uh, not, not big, big stage, but pretty big in there. And we know the performance he gave. He's pure energy right now. It's like lightning in a human being. Not too much to explain, but for me, New Jersey Twerk is very clearly right now the best performer in 2024. And that is my full list here. Top five current day performers in battle rap. Um, could be a bit controversial. Who knows, man? But I do plan on doing this going forward. Maybe in the next week or two. You know, we'll we'll have recap videos in between. It's not just going to be all these in a row. But expect these over the next couple weeks on four other categories. And please let me know in the comments down below. Do you guys want uh, anglers next? Do you want pens next? Punchers? You know, I'm sure I'm going to put something on Twitter somewhere where I can just get some feedback um, so I know which one y'all want me to put up next. Um, and shout out to all the performers in this list. I want to say once again, three to five, easy rock hustle. Very debatable. I'd love to hear your guys' opinions on kind of how they all stack against each other. Different types of high points and strengths, different types of critiques and maybe argumentative points you'd give back to them. And also want to say one more thing. With Hitman Hollow and the honorable mentions, because you got you got to say things a couple times or people won't listen. This is not an all-time performers list. I think Hitman is the best performer of all time, right? Um, and I, if I had an analogy to compare it to, I'd compare it to well, LeBron James right now in real life, right? Even though I don't think LeBron is the best player of all time. I am a Jordan guy, but LeBron is undoubtedly a top two basketball player ever. But current day, 2024, he's in year 21. He's still great. Many people would still put him in the top 10. I'm not mad at it, but more towards the bottom of it. He's still putting up great numbers, just not prime the absolute best in the league numbers. That's the way I'd say about Hitman Hollow, man. You see him here, six or seven. He's still putting up greatness this late in his career, but it's just not the current day best at this particular um, at this particular part of the game because I do obviously have New Jersey twerk there, and that is a battle I would love to see in 2024. in um, another who's got the throne right now kind of deciding battle for hitman who's taken oh so many of those in his career man but like i said want to hear your opinions across all of the lists and i have many more of these on the way so it's been j small reviews again y'all like comment subscribe and i'm gonna catch you on the next one man peace